Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're going to be talking about, like, everything that's, like, going on with, like, the whole TVDU thing on Roblox and, like, how, like, the games are, like, not doing as well as they should be and how stuff is slowly dying. Yeah. So, let's just g jump right into it. So... Um, the first, like, TV video game to come out on Roblox was a game called Mystic Falls. That's spelling error. Which is this game right here. It was created in, like, 2020, but, like, it was created, like, it came out, like, a couple months after the created date. So, it's it's been going around for a while now. For around four years. Uh, almost five. Um, so, I kind of wanted to bring a whole picture on how things are dying and how we could potentially stop that. So, the, so as the people who make these games get older. Oh my fucking god, there's a big ass mosquito on my computer. Anyway. So yeah, like, the whole series and like, it's just like, dying. And all the games have low player counts. So, I know how, like, the games, like, they produce updates that gets people on, and then there's, like, consistent people playing. So, let's look at an example here. Let's look at, not Bring Up Our Prophecies, TVO. Such an original classic. Of course, we have the OG version out as well, but this is really the, the cream of the crop. So, it has 23 million visits right here's the concurrent players which is not like, I can't extend it far I don't know why but for some reason like anyway so you know how like TVO used to have like 300 people always playing it like, I know that they stopped updating and everything, but this game I consider dead. So it's dead. It's basically dead. This game, dead. This is still a pretty nice game, it's just no one really plays it anymore. So, I understand, like, they haven't updated and that makes sense why it's dead, but once we get into the other games, you'll see why I don't think updating really matters anymore. Because as the people that get older like they they find out about the games when they're like youngish and then they go older and they don't play Roblox or they don't play TV video games anymore they like shooter games or they like some other thing and they just go away and same with the owners the owners of TVO are like almost, like basically adults now because it started when they were like 15, 16, 14-ish, and now they're like, they're like old now. You know, I could say the same thing with New Journey, Anarquia, which is still like fucking new, and that game's died off. Uh, TVP, TVL, it's like, okay, let's look at another game. I know this isn't T video game, this isn't a TV video game, but in my mind, it's still, like, a home game that people, most of the people that play TVDU have played New Journey, and I know this for a fact. So, I don't, like, so when the Madeline update came out, there was, like, 3,000 people playing it, and now it's down to, like, 60. I know this is, like, 2, but this would only be at, like, what, 150 at a regular time. 
like their player count be going down as well like you see the maximum we get around here is like what 120 and then you go to like here it's like 160 and then like everything it's what ha like the games that a lot of people play don't update frequently enough for them to continue yeah okay so let's go to a different game let's go to what's us let's go to tvl one now tvl one has not updated in two years but this game is still really good it's not considered dead in my mind because i can literally log on at 3 p.m and see that there's like 300 people playing tvl one I don't know if that's because the Silas update is still Silas update, but the TV01 in my mind will never die. It's such a good game. It's fucking good. But TVL2, on the other hand, that this game, I know I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it is dying really fast. Compared to like what it was like I know there's still active people on it but like they had just announced Esther today right today today is August 17th well it's 2 but they announced Esther August 16th technically speaking a couple hours ago and you know how long they take to make a character? Like, two, three months. Sometimes four. So, watch this player count go to, like, 60. Just, like, the games are dying. And there's not enough updates to keep them frequent. Like, I know the whole thing about, oh my god, I don't even... Like, the owners of this game, with or with not having like 60 people in it are always going to be making money those developer payouts that they get through premium payouts bro are so much it's like ridiculous they can literally get like <laughs> this is ridiculous anyway tvl2 it's dying like it's not at a slow enough rate to be considered like it just goes down overnight and it's like not up again but it's still high enough that if developers don't like i know shade towards tvl2 i love it it's just it's it's dying and they need to do more frequent updates like i know they just did oh the whole ability wheel like before the ability wheel there's like what a hundred people on it like you go down here and you look at the player counts, it really is like, like I know they recently updated like a month ago, but still, it, you can't really say a game is dying without it dying. Anyway, let's talk about another game or so, and then I'm going to move on to the next subject, which is really fucking important. So we're gonna, let's talk about, let's talk about TVP. What really made this game completely die, like actually completely die, is that the game got banned for three, four months. So it came out in around December and then January like 15th. It got banned until, like, March. And then what... Because this game... I actually love TVP. It's just... It's not active anymore. It's like... It's like so fucking ridiculous. It gets banned. I was saying before my GeForce experience decided to be fucking stupid. And stop recording in the middle of me talking. Is that it just died when it went banned and everyone thought they were going to lose all their money which people ended up doing anyway because the game is dead 
is no one played it anymore. They played it for like the like first week that it came back, and then they're like, "Screw this, Prophecy of Witches." Prophecy of Witches got banned like every couple weeks, and at least if you bought Game Passes in the original one, it carried over to Prophecy of Witches got banned like one, two, three, four, five, six, like fucking, because they kept stealing assets, and now it's it's. It's fucking gone. It's 20 players every day. It's, it's dead. Completely. Like, no one. No one plays it. Like, ever. Unless they're so bored they go to that game. Now let's talk about Anarchia. Anarchia... Anarchia has been dead for, for years. And then they just announced that they're doing a revamp. And then a couple months ago, this revamp came out. And... Bassy and his alt account Tonic Monic. Uh, ugh, that gives me shivers just saying his name. Ew. Anyway, they're like, oh my god, why does he still post about Anarchia? It's so dead. Oh my god. Oh, two people. Oh my god. Oh, 30. Oh, uh, 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 uh. That is so ridiculous. Like, oh my god. Anarchia, you really fucked up. Talked about all these, all these, all these, all these, all these. Heroes is technically still alive, but it dies every time they don't update. And those prices on the f game passes are ridiculous. Like, paying 2000 for Raven, and Raven's fucking horrible like cams like everyone keeps saying this but the game pass prices are so high i swear to god no one plays your game anymore and you barely update is that it for all the tv video games okay now let's talk about the tv video youtubers oh my god Let's talk about all of them, because there's fucking so many of them that have went inactive for years. Okay, so let's talk about this person first. I forget, I don't know how to pronounce their name, but I really, they're a really nice YouTuber, amazing content. The problem is, is that they're, like, one of the main reasons why TVDU games are failing and not have as many player counts as what they're supposed to have is because of the YouTubers not uploading. There's a whole list, and I mean whole list of YouTubers that haven't uploaded and are inactive, just don't post. One of them is this person, Fairly, I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry if I didn't say it right. But you are inactive, and I'm sorry, but you just never post. And when you do post, it's like f f short videos. Like, I'm sorry. Like, what? Anyway, at least you still kind of upload. Like, I... I Number one. Okay, so like the only hold on before I say that, what's another one that's dead? I was just on a call with this guy a couple hours ago, and I was saying how I was gonna film this with him, but I just got so tired of waiting because I've I've had this on my schedule for so long to do this video, and I cannot wait another day. Anyway. I know he's gonna say something about this later or whatever, but I'm sorry, <laughs> but you're not that active, like. Anyway, at least you admit to it. Okay, that's two. Like, those are like the big ones that are inactive. Who the hell is Be Wicked? 
Oh no, ew. I had a list, but I don't know where my list went. I literally had a whole list. What happened to my list? Oh, here, yeah, Zane, 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 if you're listening, you, this isn't even your main account. Where's your main account? This is his main account. He hasn't posted in nine months. So that's one, two, three, four, because his alt account is also inactive. Like, it's just like, what? I swear, these people be dragging the game down. Yes, this person, this person, this person also is inactive. So how many is that? That's fairly, that's both the Zane's alt accounts. Both, no, both the Zane's accounts. So one, two, three. And then Lane Boy Lee which is kind of inactive, but he like he's not that inactive. He'll still post. Um Yeah. Of course, Bassie's alt account, that bitch. Oh my god, I mass reported that and it's not giving any like results. <sighs> yeah, so we have Oh, not me increasing my DPI. Ew. Okay. I'm ju I'm basically just maining the and just saying like the the ones that really matter. Like to be completely honest, all of like the big like TVD YouTubers are all like they're all inactive. Like like, oh my god. I actually... Okay, so, Fairly is inactive. Hot Cheese is actually... Uh, ...posted today. He posted hours before. But when you don't post for five, seven months... I know you just posted. I know you're talking about your activity. ...inactive. I'm sorry. You're really inactive. And I, I hope, I hope you, because I really active. I'm sorry, but that's another one. So let's count them. I'm actually subscribed to all of them. So fairly one. JJ plays two. Lame Boy Lee three. Am I subscribed to all of them? I think I am. Where's the rest? Oh my god, I'm not. What the fuck? Oh, wait, no, both of Zane's alt accounts, so that's five. Six, I forgot the name. Yeah, like, all of them are inactive. Like, I hate, like, I hate to be that person, but, like, they're all inactive. Like, the only real people that have a good enough following to be considered, um, to be, like, like, a TV duty role to... Like, the only real people that are active are, like, the small YouTubers, like, Lewis, KK Plays, like, those are my friends. And, like, the small ones, like, those ones are kind of active. Like, all the big ones are dead. The only big ones that are alive still, which I don't know how, are Cora, Hot Cheese, and myself. Like, the really only ones that, like, I might, like, sometimes, like, have a delay between uploads, but at least I'm, like, actually uploading like it's just like when the youtubers are inactive the people the community the games everyone's inactive and i know people say that like oh the youtubers don't matter like they don't bring popularity bro if it weren't for the youtubers that made the tvdu community there would be no tvdu community if it weren't for someone who sparked the idea to make, like, a, because it went from Mystic Falls, which is the original one, to TVL. 
if it weren't for the YouTubers that played Mystic Falls, which are these people, if it weren't for YouTubers, there wouldn't even be a TV like community. And I don't know, people say like, oh, we don't matter, or like these YouTubers going inactive doesn't matter. Look at the player count when they were active and when they weren't. What do you see? It's like, I'm not trying to be that guy that says like everything's dying. It's just, it's dying. Everything's like, not everything, but most games are like dying. And in co the copy games, I swear to God, how are they still alive? They should be mass reported. I'm literally rolling my eyes right now. Anyway, so the games are inactive, dead, some are dead, all the YouTubers are dead, except for Hot Cheese, which is not me for the tenth fucking time. Thank you, I like that people finally understand that. Anyway, amazing. Amazing person, this guy right here. Anyway. I didn't okay so the main ones that are actually still active are hot cheese hot pizza Cora Darius that's it and the small ones that's it they're all inactive all the like both of Zane's accounts are inactive like I've already said JJ plays fairly lame boy Lee like they're all inactive and it's up to us to revive the community so I'm gonna ping, I'm gonna, God forbid people check their YouTube studio, but I'm gonna put them down in the comments to the ones I think are inactive and the ones that are active. And I really think, cause like, I'm actually really concerned cause I really love these games. And I know so many people do that it's just gonna end up, the owners are just gonna be like, no one's playing it, what the fuck? And they're just gonna leave just like what they've done for, to other ones Anarquia to name one what what's the name oh yeah Vampire Prophecies The Prophecy of Witches uh, Supernatural Bloodlines that one is dead oh my god I just hope this is a message to people that we need to be more active as if we continue down this road, things are not going to be looking the same to this community. There's going to be, like, one game that's active that, like, does updates. And I'm including New Journey and Heroes. Because New Journey, in my opinion, falls under the same category. Even though it's Marvel. Because all the people that play TVDU all play New Journey. That's a fact. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Join my Discord. Linked, like, everywhere on my channel. Uh, follow my TikTok. Join my Roblox group. Oh my god. Why do I always record videos at 2am? What am I thinking? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.